a city of a thousand planets. Overdone sci-fi. When he was 10 years old, director Luc Besson discovered the Valerian comic book and knew that he had stumbled upon something magical. He wanted to be Major Valerian and he fell in love with Sergeant Lauderling. One does wish the 10-year-old had let his fantasy stay within the comic book instead of making a film that doesn't have the same magic. Let's first look at the convoluted storyline. Like an intergalactic Noah's Ark, New City Alpha welcomes species from every planet. Humans are the hosts with a handshake for every friendly alien, some with sticky fingers, some that send out a current. But the existence of Alpha is being seriously threatened by a dark secret. Major Valerian, who has to travel all over the universe to keep the peace, has had a dream about Planet Mule, a world he doesn't know about and has been destroyed. This connection with the planet is a bit of interesting writing that comes towards the end. Mule was a paradise at peace with the elements until human beings in a space war brought doomsday along. The survivors have now gained knowledge and know that their paradise can be regained. Meanwhile, warrior and special agent Valerian has had a playlist of girlfriends but he's ready to pop the question to Sergeant Laureline, his partner. After meandering through an alien market and two levels of existence, Valerian and Laureline have a pearl and a coveted converter in their possession. They're precisely what Planet Mule needs to rebuild itself. But for Valerian and Laureline to reach it to them, the route is complicated. A missing commander, humans who sneer at and destroy alien life, cannibalistic aliens and even a shape-shifting Rihanna who comes in like an item girl in a Hindi film. Besson is like a child gone berserk with his gizmos. With far too much happening, it's a dizzy and sometimes messy ride despite the expected proficiency of the technical team. Topped with a preachy dialogue on true love and a message on building a harmonious universe, it ultimately says nothing dynamically unique that's worth a $180 million budget or a running time of 2 hours and 17 minutes. Dane Dehan looks too immature for the part of Major Valerian. Cara Delevingne as Sergeant Laureline is also more teen fantasy than universe saver. But that's perhaps what will appeal to a young audience. For a non-stop space adventure that will leave sci-fi junkies breathless, Valerian and a city of a thousand planets gets a three-star rating.